Hey guys, back with a new review. This time, Malum. And um, on this camera, you might come up sort of uh, moderate-ish, but um, he's not. So, canister Malum above Bionicle. Here's the Thornax launcher for the dot and the eye. There's a nice picture of Malum, ages 7 to 16, product number 8979. Count 59 pieces. I believe he... Does he have the most pieces of the Tarian? I'm not sure. I'll have to check that. Latorian, Lego, Bionicle on the side, grip, easy open, top that we've seen before. Um, nice picture of Malum um, and Ranu. And then you can play the Bionicle action figure game. There's a tutorial inside the instruction booklet. And um, how to uh, shoot the Thornax launcher. And Biocode is M. 4-1-U-M-Z. Okay. Are you seeing this? That's the same bio code for Gresh. I don't get that. I really don't get that. So here's Malum. And, um... Let's see. I can't remember where this body piece came from, but, um, I don't think we've seen it since Carapar. Um, or have we? I'm not sure, but this feet on the shoulders thing is a great idea. I really like it. His head is totally awesome. It looks like a devil. Um, and he's super bulky, as you can see. And, um, he does not have Glatorian fists, but that's because he has these giant claws that only attach to the original, um, hands. And, um, he's very, very short. You sure? But, um, it does look like he makes up for it in his, um, great, bulky strength. Um, the Thornax launcher does shoot very far. Die camera. And, um, it attaches to the, um, the shoulder with the head connector piece for the new Glatorian. Na 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 Can you see the Glatorian head? Can you see? Can you see? Can you see it? I didn't do that with Grush Review. <laughs> this really looks like his head, not that. You can't really see the normal head design within this because you get so lost in the helmet. Because it is pretty cool. Um, Racky Shush. That's my dog. Um, so, colors, um, this red, and then, um, contrary to popular belief, there is no moda red, so he's this crimson red, um, and then he's got, um, a little bit of keton orange here and here, and, um, then he's got a little bit of, uh, darker orange here and here, um, yeah, it is darker than keton orange and here. So his color schemes, and then he's got gray here. So he goes very well with Ranu. Um, even though I think Akar still goes better with Ranu. But um, his mask fits perfectly on his head. He looks really awesome. Um, he's an exiled, um, he's an exiled Glatorian from Vulcanus, and he used to be like the ultimate Glatorian, but he got exiled for his crimes in the arena. Uh, I think he w he used, like, excessive force after the match was over or something, and, like, attacked the player. But, um, Gatorian game piece, I forgot to say that with Gresh. Five, five, four, three, two, one. You're dead. Um, Malum, I think, he used to be my favorite of the Gatorian, but now I think Gresh is my favorite. Um, he has one extra articulation, that's for this. And, um, all in all, a great, great figure, and I give him a 9 out of 10. Um, he, go, go out and pick him up. Uh, Gresh, and, let's see, who are my, my top three for the Glatorian are, um, probably, I would say, Gresh, Malum, and Vorox. I don't, I don't know. I'll, um, 
yeah, Strack does not appease me that much. Um, don't like him that much for some reason, but, um, go Malum, he rocks. Really like him, his head looks very fiery, and, uh, he looks like a devil, and it, it does portray to his, uh, criminal, of course, bio. And so he is really cool. He's a big ball of coolness. I say go get him right now. Just he's like probably I think my second favorite of the Victorian. I really like him. So go out and get him. This is the French Pancakes review for Malum the Victorian. Coming next will be uh Scrow. Alright. For Pancake Studios, signing off.